A WordPress plugin is a piece of software that adds functionality to your WordPress site. This video is going to show you how to locate, add, and activate plugins for your WordPress site. Now there's actually a couple of different ways you can add plugins to your WordPress site. One being installing from within your WordPress site, the other being installing from an FTP client like FileZilla. And I'll show you that in just a moment. But for the time being, I'm at wordpress.org forward slash plugins. And at the time of this recording, you can see that there's over 40,000 different free plugins available for you here in the WordPress plugin directory. And you can search through these plugins by way of just checking out the featured plugins or by those that are popular based on how others have rated these various plugins. Or if you've got a free account here at wordpress.org, then maybe you've gone through and clicked on the favorites link on various plugins that you've got experience with, well, they're going to show up right here once you log in. That can come in pretty handy later on whenever you're wanting to install all these plugins on a brand new WordPress installation. But let's go back to popular for a second, and let's just try a Kismet. If we click on this, you'll be presented with the details of that particular plugin, where you can click on the download button here, and that will download a zipped file to your computer which is what you'll need to do if you're going to be using the FTP method that I'll show you here in just a moment. You've got the description of the plugin, you've got installation information, and the change log that gives you an idea as to what changes have taken place throughout the lifespan of this plugin, download stats, support, reviews, developer information, and so on. Now, if there are several different plugins that you're deciding upon, well, one way that will help you decide which one will work best for you is how many installs has that particular plugin had? When was the last time it was updated? What kind of a rating does it have? So if you've got two plugins that do the same thing, one's been installed over a million times, the other one's been installed 10 times, and that one that's been installed 10 times was last updated a year ago, well, chances are that's going to help you decide which one of those plugins you want to stick with. But this is the WordPress.org site. Let's head on over to our dashboard area of our WordPress site, and I'll show you how you can locate and add plugins from within your WordPress site. Now, I've already logged into my dashboard area, and if you've never done this before, then up here in the address bar, you want to type in the URL of your WordPress installation, followed by a forward slash wp-admin, hit enter, then a box is going to pop up asking you to enter your username and your password. Go ahead and do that. Click on Login. And that'll bring you to the dashboard page. Then over here on the left, you'll see this link for plugins. If you hover over that, you'll get this flyout with three options, at least three options anyway. One of them is going to be editor, which you should stay away from unless you really know what you're doing. The other two, add new, you probably guessed that one right. That's where you go to add new plugins or the installed plugins page. Let's go ahead and click on that. And this is going to show a list of all of the currently installed plugins. Whether they've been activated or not doesn't matter. If they've been installed, they're going to show up right here. And you can also click on the Add New button up here at the top, and that's where you can go to Add New Plugins, as well as the link over here to the left. As you can see, this looks pretty close to the same as it does over here on WordPress.org's plugin page, with the same exact information, only now it's showing up from within your WordPress site. So you can do the search here by Featured, Popular, Recommended, or those Favorites. If we click on favorites here, all you have to do to get those favorites of yours to show up here is to enter your username that you registered at WordPress.org with. Click on get favorites. Boom. They're going to populate right there. And you can install them all from right here. But if we come on back here to say featured and we click on the Kismet here, you get this pop-up that gives us the exact same information as we got from WordPress.org. But to install a plugin from here, you simply click on install now. Or if you've downloaded a plugin from WordPress.org, then you can upload that zip file by clicking on this link here. Upload plugin, choose the file, just go to the location of that zipped file that you downloaded from WordPress.org and upload it from right here. And that has to be a zip file, just like it says right here. Let's go on back here. But if you're going to install directly from this page, just simply click on install now and then activate plugin. It's that simple. Now, depending upon the plugin that you just installed and activated, you may get messages up here at the top of the page similar to this one. And you can also see here on the plugins page the differences between these two. One is activated, one is not. The one that's not activated has an activate link. The one that's already activated has a deactivate link. Now, you cannot delete 
an active plugin. But you can delete this plugin because it's currently not activated. So if you're going to delete a plugin, you have to first deactivate it like that. Now, neither one of these are active. They're both deactive. And you can also use bulk actions here. So if you've got a bunch of plugins that you want to, say, delete, for example, check those, hit bulk actions, then choose your action, like, for example, delete, and then click on apply. So I'm going to go ahead and delete Supercache from here and then confirm the deletion. And now that I want to download WP Supercache to my computer and then install it by way of an FTP client. Now, if we're going to use FileZilla, for example, or any FTP client, let me go ahead and move this in here, we have to upload an unzipped folder. So we just simply right click and I'm going to use 7-zip or you can just simply use the extract all or whatever decompression software that you have built into your computer. I'm going to use 7-zip and just extract right here. I'm going to open that up because what I'm going to upload to my server is the folder that contains the files. Not a folder that contains a folder, but the folder that contains the files. So let me just refresh this, make sure that I'm logged in. Yep. Now, where the heck do I upload it to? Well, you're going to go to the root directory of your WordPress installation, and you'll know you're there whenever you see the WP-admin folder and the WP-content folder and all this. You want to then open up the WP-content folder, and then you'll see a directory that says plugins. Open that up, and this is where you install your plugin directory or your plugin folders. And over here on the left, I've got that unzipped folder right here. And if I open that up, this is the folder that contains the files. That's the one that I want to upload. And then I just left click, hold, and drag it on over. Now that it's completely uploaded, we're done with FileZilla. Let me go ahead and get out of this. Come on back to our plugins page on our WordPress site. And let's go ahead and refresh this. Now you can see that this plugin has been installed, but it's not activated. Click on activate. And just like before, it's completely activated and we're ready to go. So that's the two ways in which you can install a WordPress plugin and two places you can go to search for WordPress plugins directly from within your WordPress site or from WordPress.org. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on WordPress plugins. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.